Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the SPD Roll Call. I'm Officer Friedel, and I will be steering the ship during this episode. We have a special guest sitting in on this episode, but before we introduce him, let me set the table and let you know who's all here. To my right is Officer Ryan Schmidt. Ryan, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Real good. Our guest today sitting across from me is one of my many bosses, Captain Steve Cobb. Captain, how are you? Matt, hi, Ian. I'm fine. How are you guys? Good. Good. Now, before we get started on the topic of the day, which is patrol initiative, um, Captain, I don't know your work history here at the Sheboygan Police Department. I know a little brief of it, but if you could just let everyone know listening out there kind of what's your history with the Sheboygan Police Department. Sure. I started with the Police Department in Sheboygan in 1993. I'll be here uh, 20 years in March will be my 20th anniversary. Uh, before that, I was a police officer for a short time in the village of Lake Delton, and as the rest of the state knows it, Wisconsin Dells. It's yes. the south half of Wisconsin Dells. So I came here, and since I've been here, I've been in the patrol division my entire career. Uh, of course, starting as a patrolman and working as a patrolman for eight years, eight and a half years. I was promoted sergeant and have been on the patrol division uh, throughout my career as a sergeant, lieutenant, and now the uh, captain of the patrol division. Of course, I've had a lot of various assignments in there. Uh, I've been a member and the team leader for the ERT. Uh, I've been assigned uh, other various units at different times throughout the department, but uh, primarily my focus has been on patrol. Nice. Now, the topic we're going to be talking about is patrol initiative. And uh, I don't know, for the citizens and listeners out there, what is patrol initiative? Sure. The patrol initiative is really an outline that highlights several goals that we have as a department. And the goals of the department are framed in terms of reducing crime, uh, creating more efficient policing, creating more effective policing, uh, setting goals for levels of collaboration with the citizenry of Sheboygan. The goals really came from uh, Chief Domagolsky's acceptance speech. When he accepted the job in Sheboygan, he had an acceptance speech that he gave in front of the council, and we talked about that speech and that speech was really used to define how we were going to uh, set goals for the department and within my division how I was going to set goals for this division. Sure. Uh, related to those goals is a list of nine objectives which are, uh, these are tools that we're using to meet those goals and uh, there's been various studies on what is effective policing. Uh, and for the goals that we laid out for a reduction in crime or the absence of crime as a measure, uh, we lay out several goals which are effective, or several objectives, I'm sorry, which are uh, effective tactics to use to reduce crime. Okay, and this is all falls under, I mean, we've talked about neighborhood policing, we've talked about in previous podcasts of um, breaking down neighborhoods and demographics, and so we don't really have to go back into that. Um, but what do you, what did we start off, what are our current practices for officers here at the Chicago Police Department for the patrol initiative? Well, within the patrol initiative, whenever they develop a tactic or whenever they, they focus their um, efforts at reducing a crime, they should be looking at the patrol initiative to see where on the spectrum does this fill, does this fall. Now, we as a division are in the process of developing goals for 2013. Sure. And in 2013, I'm looking at uh, uh, communication and collaboration. Now, as you look at our objectives, some of our objectives to reduce crime and to uh, develop effective crime preventative measures which contribute to the absence of crime, right. uh, some of those objectives are developing a means of communication with citizens that allow uh, informal uh, increased contact in order to push our message out to them and to develop engagements from them. Another one is developing problem-solving techniques that emphasize community collaboration Rather than us policing our citizenry, it's us and our citizenry policing together. Right. So, that I mean, that's two examples of how this year we're going to try and identify different objectives within the patrol initiative and develop uh, strategies and tactics that uh, are in line with those objectives uh, to set goals for 2013. Kind of gets back to what we talked about, your, your neighborhood officer. Uh, knowing who that person is, you're going to see us out of the cars more. It's not going to be us just out uh, of policing. It's going to be working with you uh, to try and try and fix a problem. Uh, right. It doesn't necessarily need to be a, a gigantic crime that has that's occurred. We're working on preventing those and what we can do to prevent that from happening. Absolutely. Um, we've talked about this many times here. 
in historically at the Sheboygan Police Department, we have been very, very good at solving crime. Uh, the one thing that we haven't been very, I, I'm not going to say not very good, but we haven't been very forward thinking with is preventing crime. Mm -hmm. And those are two very different skills. Uh, we're, we're very, very good at solving crime, but that falls in line with the professionalism of policing and, and that era of policing where all of our skills were focused on case building, evidence gathering, uh, you know, basically building a case for a crime that's already been committed. Uh, we really recognized three, four, or five years ago that we really needed to refocus and uh, develop our ability to prevent crime from occurring in the first place and develop strategies that prevent crime as a class from occurring. Like you said, you know, we're going to be doing more of this, getting out of our car and walking around, but this shouldn't be a surprise to Assistant Sheboygan. We've been doing this for a couple of years now anyways, or more than a couple of years, but, you know, so I think everyone pretty much, I hope you should know your neighborhood officer. And again, we've touched on it before, contact the Sheboygan Police Department, you can find out who your neighborhood officer is or even what neighborhood you live in. And if, and if you don't know that stuff, I mean, that's you know, those things that's, there's a good chance you're going to have every opportunity to learn that this year. Learn who the officer is, what's going on in the neighborhood. Uh, every opportunity that's going to come up there uh, is probably going to be out there for you guys to, to listen in and kind of tune into what's going on. Right. Some of the most effective strategies at reducing crime or creating that absence of crime absolutely rely on the day-to-day -day patrol officer having that intimate contact with people in a small area because it's those people who are really the key to creating the circumstances that prevent crime from occurring in that location. Now, we've been talking about the patrol initiative, which is primarily for the Department of Sheboygan Police Department. Now, what is the benefit to either the police department officers or department in whole and the benefit to the Sheboygan citizens? The benefit to having an initiative is, number one, you clearly define goals. And really, the absence of